viruses, computer hackers, and the RIAA. These are some of the biggest problems plaguing the computer user today. But on today's segment of Purposeless Tech Corner, we're going to talk about one of the biggest problems to the computer itself. Heat. Now to Cameron. That's right, Lincoln. Heat is a bitch. Today's project will be working with one of my favorite computer brands, the uh, E-Machine, featuring the terrific Cyrex M2 processor at 366 MHz. This is one screaming machine, and in 1999, it was still a piece of shit. Let's take a look into our machine today. As you can see, we are running an aftermarket CPU cooler, also the name. And if you take a look over to here, we are featuring the ATI Force 3D Rage 2. I believe this is going to be a good project today. We have some good plans for cooling. Let's get a step right into those, alright? Let's go. So what do you think we're going to need for this project here? I think if we're going with cooling, we're going to need a couple fans to get things going here. I think I can run some of those up. Let me go see. I think we got a few in here. Let's see what we got. I think I hear something. Oh, let's see what we got in this case. Uh, so, Lincoln, you think we're going to have to make a trip to the store? Oh, man, the purposeless budget's looking pretty low. I think we're just going to have to make do with what we have. Alright, I guess so. So after sorting through this, uh, what did we come up with here, Lincoln? Alright, apparently what it looks like, our biggest fan is going to be the 120 millimeter 3DFX cool. That's going to provide a lot that's of airflow. Uh, that's actually the, the 120 high output. Is that have? the high output? Yeah, that's the high output. That's going to be super cool. And the smallest we have is going to be the 60 millimeter one. That's nothing special. Not, not to be denied, though. That, not is, to, that is a good heat cooler. I completely agree with you, Cameron. You know what you're talking about. We got two 92 millimeter fans. They both came out of other components we found around the lab. And then we have, what is this, six regular 80 millimeter fans, two clear 80 millimeter fans, and four Sun on Tornado 80 millimeter fans. So Lincoln, I noticed these clear ones look a little bit different from the rest. Uh, what's special about these? Well, now they may look like regular clear fans, right? Mm hmm. The bottom one is. It's just a regular clear fan. There's nothing special. But this one right here, if you look closely, we got three wires going to the edges. Those are actually LEDs. They're perfect for typing a term paper when you're just too bored to type anymore. That is perfect. Although, that could get annoying, I could think. I've only had one epileptic seizure so far. Uh, it's, it's not bad. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they're pretty good, and they're made by TurboCool. So, you know, they're going to TurboCool the case. Always a reputable brand. Now, Cameron, i got to ask, what is your personal favorite there? Because that's mine. Well, this one goes back a while here. Uh, when I used to run a review site, I got this bad boy. It's a uh, 3DFX Cool 120mm high output fan. And that as you can see, uh, it is. And uh, it's made by YS Tech, distributed by 3DFX Cool. And it's definitely the best fan here because it's clearly the largest. The bigger is always better. Size doesn't always matter, my friend. Yes, it does. As you can see, we took the first two clear fans and put twist ties right there. We wrapped them up and made them secure so they'd stay together. Then what we're going to do is we're going to feed the cable through the front drive bay. We don't need drives for this case, okay? We're going to mount them right there. Now some people may go for a more professional technique. We're using scotch tape. As you can see, our piece here, the heatsink on the Cyrex M2, a fine processor, is already an aftermarket piece, so we're not going to be need to be changing this out. But there's all kinds of other chips here that uh, don't have any type of cooling at all. We got the North Bridge, the wonderful onboard ETI 3D Rage, and uh, some memory controllers and BIOS and things. And we got a whole pile of heat sinks here that uh, just don't have a home. So we're going to do what we can with those. As you can see, we now have a uh, heat sink for pretty much every major chip on the board. All that's left is a Dorito. Oh, that sucked. But uh, uh, now we're going to have to uh, secure them. As you can see, uh, we're going to do this. Is that special computer tape? Yeah, this is thermal tape uh, that's made by Scotch. And uh, I've yeah. heard about that, actually. Yeah, it, right? actually, it actually holds them in place and transfers heat at a maximum efficiency. And, uh, good job taping, man. Yeah, we should be good with that, I think. Alright, let's move on to the fan for the case. 
As you can see, we're uh, building our fan support superstructure here that, that will allow for all the massive cooling. Now that's super high density holding tape, right? Yeah, that actually it actually has thermal components also to keep really? the fans themselves cool. Wow. That's good. I heard whenever you have matching colors, so the black with the black, that'll actually cool better, right? Yeah, that's that's how that works. All right, let's see how we're gonna put these fans on. So Lincoln, I see our project here is coming along pretty nicely. Can you give us a, a recap of what we've just done here? Look, what we're doing is something I suggest for everyone, a preliminary layout. I mean, you don't want to start fixing them all up and securing them but, and knowing they're not going to fit at the end. Oh, uh, yeah. So what we got here, we got them all laid out, which is the way we think we're going to use them. So we figured we'd put the big honker in the middle there, because size matters, apparently. Big honker. Okay. Big honker, yeah, that's what I've, I've dubbed it the big honker. Okay. And um, you'll notice that we actually have a heat sink and a fan right there. And why, why do we have that on the actual case here? The way we've designed it, right? Mm -hmm. Our thermal black tape mm -hmm. runs all the way right under that. Oh, yeah. So, so the heat sink, it, draws, sink, the it draws the heat to the heat sink, and that fan will blow it up or to the side as the case is going to be when it's on its side. That's, that's a good design. Thanks. Let's, uh, yeah. let's finalize this and see if we yeah. get this thing working. Let's get it going. Next time you see us, it'll be a working case. And I now present to you, the audience, the fantastic case. The what? The fantastic case. You, you don't like it? You're, you're done naming stuff like it. I hate you. That is a marvel. As yeah. you can see, we spent a lot of time wiring and making sure all the wires are hidden. Can you uh, turn that around? I heard there was something special about the front of that. Oh, it looks like a face. What's the best part of that? Their light up and... That's taped shut. Come oh. to purpose this. <laughs> All right then. So I guess the next step here is just to plug it in and see if we can get it running. Folks, you will be doing this for the first time, like I am. This is a very serious moment. Let's see if it works. It. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Wait. It do okay. Doesn't work. At all the first try, we're gonna try this one more time. This time it does nothing. Let's, right? let's see here. It still does nothing. We got nothing, right? We're gonna try unplugging some of the fans, and then we'll be right back. After some troubleshooting, we found out we were just drawing too much power from this 120 watt quality power supply in the E machine. But, for your viewing pleasure, we have all but two fans working. And for you, the viewers, here we go. That's right. This ride is the G4 SS car. Turn around. Turn around. It's not loud. It's not loud. I gotta say, the LED came out pretty good. edition of the Purposeless Tech Corner, and uh, even though we didn't get 100% of the fans working, I would call this project a success, wouldn't you? I would, but you know, I think we're going to have many more opportunities to get our fans up and spinning. Alright, until next time, catch you later. What? <laughs>